everybody, I'm Tony Varela, you're watching Comic TV. It's my favorite day of the week, New Comic Wednesday, May 1st, 2019. Remember to stay till the end, you'll get to see Yogi Yogi's here's pick of the week. What about a Yogi, you ready to do this boy? Woo, let's do it. All right, let me cut this music down a little bit. So uh, we got some nice independent books starting out today. We got Trump Space Force, written by Chuck Dixon, uh, art by Timothy Lim and Dave Dorman, doing a badass cover. We got Trump there fighting an octopus. We got Melania chilling in the background. I don't care if you like Trump or not, that cover is dope. In fact, it was so dope, whoosh, I got it twice. Bam! From Dark Horse Comics, we got Avatar, Sute's Path, number four. We got Sherry Smith doing the writing. John Dursima doing the art, and we got Doug Wheatley doing that cover. That's my favorite scene of the movie when she's defending her man after he passes out. She's all like, <laughs> Woo! So uh, from Valiant, we got Fallen World number one. We got Rye and Bloodshot in the future battling it out. We got Dan Abnett doing the writing. We got Adam Polina doing a nice job on the art. And we got John Boy Myers doing a kick-ass job on the art. On that cover, anyway. Woo! Batman number 70, Tom King sucking it up as usual. Uh, he's doing the writing on that. We got Michael Janin back on the art though, so hopefully this uh, issue will start to ramp up again. And I got the uh, regular Andy Kubert cover. Deceased, big new title coming from uh, DC. We got number one of six. We got Tom Taylor doing the uh, writing and a collabo on the art on the first issue. I don't get it, but uh, we got hair scene. We got Guadiano. We got Heron doing the art. And uh, I'm gonna show you several different colors covers. This is the uh, Capullo cover. I also got the sick Putri cover. That is the uh, It Horror variant. And Gabrielle Matino, as usual, kicking ass every week. Look at that bad boy. I'm gonna show you some I got in the uh, mail. I got the John Joker variant. I got the, uh, the one where Harley's in the corner eating Joker's brains. I got all kind of stuff coming in the mail. Been spending way too much money on comics, but I hope you're enjoying checking them out. So we got Deathstroke number 43. There's some big going on in this issue. I don't want to spoil it for you, but that is the Clayton Crane cover. Priest is still doing the writing, and we got Carlo Pagulian doing the art on that. Another nice cover, Justice League number 23. Scott Snyder doing a great job as usual on the writing. We got Jorge, Jorge Jimenez doing the art and Jerome Pena. Woo! Jerome Pena. Love that art, Jerome. So, uh, big thing going on today, we got Year of the Villain. So, uh, in here we got art from Manipul, Chung, Malieve. We got writing from Snyder, Bendis, Tinny, and Four. Man, that's great. For 25 cents. Whoa! 25 cent, Yogi! 25 cent, that's great. My comic store also hooked it up, got me this uh, art germ variant. Ooh, look at that sexy cheetah on there. How she feed her uh, puppies though, you know? She got no lips, I don't know. And, woo-wee! We got the one in 500 Jim Chung. Batman Who Laughs, baby. Woo, I've been stressing, hoping I could get this book and they hooked it up for me. Thank you, Dark Side. Thank you, Paul, for taking care of business. So I'm gonna take these down and uh, we'll get started on the Marvel books today. We got a really kick-ass title called Savage Avengers. We got Gary Dugan doing the writing on that. Dio Dotto Jr. killing it on the art and Finch doing a sick cover. Sick! I got the one in 10 Jacinto variant as well with Wolverine and Conan battling it out. And I hear they'll be battling it out inside this issue as well. So I can't wait to see how Diodato draws that. Looking forward to it. Champions number five. Uh, I don't buy champions normally, but this uh, Max Limb Battle Lines Virgin variant is sick. Jim's up doing the writing on that. And we got Juanan Ramirez doing the art on that title. And again, strictly a cover by. Deadpool number 12, been loving this title. Scotty Young's been doing an awesome job on the writing and Scott Hepburn really catches the, uh, the, the style of Deadpool and uh, that sick cover is done by Hepburn as well. We got a continuation of the fight between Deadpool and the, uh, the Knight. 
So, uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider, I'm about to jump off this title. Only reason I'm still getting is because these sick Zafino covers. Damn you, Zafino! We got Paul Shear doing a write, writing job on that, and uh, Nathan Stockman failing on the art. Sorry, bro. Draw better than me, but not what I was looking for with that title. Amazing Spider-Man number 20. I've been dogging Nick Spencer out, but his last two issues have been great. So I hope he's continuing this run of greatness. And uh, we got Corey Smith doing a decent job on the writing inside. Not familiar with that artist, but uh, we'll see how he does. And uh, that uh, that cover is Greg Land. Loving Greg Land's work. Hot Shots number three. I keep trying to drop this title, but Gail Simone's doing such a great job on the writing. And David Baldione is killing it on the art. Love his art. And that's a uh, cover by R.B. Silva. This is Hulk Marines number 23. And you might say, Comic TV, that title came out yet last week. Yeah, I didn't want to get that title last week, but uh, I didn't get my Zafino cover, and I wanted to read the last issue. I got the Zafino cover in my box today, and I can't pass up Zafino. It's good, it's good stuff. Another uh, Battle Lines variant, we got Max Lim doing that cover. We got Matt Rosenberg doing the writing, and we got Simon Kudransky doing the art. And I, we love that Punisher title. We love it, we love it. All these Battle Lines variants are sick. Love them, they're cover price, they're virgins, they're awesome. Spider-Gwen number eight, another title I don't normally buy, but Skanon McGuire's doing the writing on that. Takashi Miyazawa is doing the art. And that is the Nexon Battle Lines Green Goblin variant. We got War of the Realms number three, and uh, stay tuned. I've got the uh, Loki 1 and 10 variant from uh, Garner coming in the mail. And uh, that is written by Jason Aaron and Russell Dodderman. Both of them doing great jobs. Dodderman's doing the art, and that is the Hejin Joan Battle Lines variant. And uh, last but not least, we got Old Man Logan. This is number seven of 12, been loving this title. Ed Brisson's doing the writing and Mike Henderson's doing the art. Not loving too many X-Men or Wolverine titles lately, but this one is really good. So definitely pick it up. Declan shall be doing the covers on those. Not loving those covers, but great, great book. And uh, in the mail this week, I also got this Garner Valkyrie variant, the World of Realms number two. So I uh, got a lot of DC's covers coming in the mail. I'll be showing you soon. I got some Batman 1000 variants that I'm uh, trying to get them all before I, I do a video on them, but I may have to just go ahead and bust it out because I'm still waiting on my, uh, my black and white uh, uh, G Hyung Lim uh, variant. But anyways, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you coming every week on Wednesday. Uh, shout out to Comic Tom. And I uh, love your videos, man, and I always get good tips on there. So I'll be showing you some more pickups that I got. Uh, if you're watching the top, top 10 every week on uh, Fridays, definitely recommend you check that out. Also recommend you like and subscribe. Please like, that uh, helps grow my channel, helps uh, 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 make me show up more on the searches. So please do that. Please tell your friends, tell your kids, tell your wives, tell everybody you can to join Comic TV every Wednesday for my new comic haul. We'll see you next time. Thanks.